Hey guys, Scott with the Bass Tank here. If you recall, we did some on the water filming with the new Garmin update. That video posted on Saturday. That video got long and it was in depth and we wanted to show you just a few more features. This one's not quite as long. Stay with us. Come over here. Let me show you a couple really key features of this new update. All right, guys, right here, we've got our new icons down here. You can tell that this is completely changed. If I hit the home button, instead of bringing up everything over here as we discussed, it's now across here. So one of the really cool features is this pinned feature. That is replacing the favorites button, if you will, the favorites category. Right now, I don't have anything in here. So the way I add something to it is I just go to wherever I wanna go. So fishing chart, I just press and hold. It says it's pinned. Now if I go into pin, my fishing chart is there. So let's say I want to add a, another combo. Um, let's say I've got a smart mode. So I've got three pinned items here. Guys, this is the favorites. Now we're gonna roll into how to really utilize those. I'm super excited about that. We're gonna talk about the home feature. All right, guys, one of the things Garmin did with this update was they literally took the word home away and they just left us an icon. Now, what's really cool about it, I think the reason why they did it is they wanted some space and here's why. If you see our home icon right here, you'll see that I've got left and right arrows. Now, if I push, push this right arrow, what I get is I'm going to my pinned features. We just talked about pinned features and what it's doing is it's letting me cycle through these. So if I go home and I come over here to pinned, this is the order in which they are going to cycle through there on the home page. So I've got my split nav, my chart sonar, combo set up. So right here, you can see what's coming next. So this is left, this guy right here is this middle one, and this is what's coming up next. Again, home. And then pinned. Now I can rearrange those by simply coming up here to my options and then I can rearrange. Then what I will do is I will touch it and I'll say, I wanna put you here. I'm not dragging it across or anything like that. I'm just simply touching it and then telling it where I wanna to go. Touch where I want that to go. Guys, I really am excited about this feature because I don't have to hit home and then come over here to pinned and do that. I can literally just cycle through right here without ever having to um, you know, move around a lot. My hand can be on the steering wheel and I can change screens. Really excited about that feature. As there's one other thing I wanna show you real quick and it's actually not included in the new update. If you've got a GPS map family and you haven't done the update, you still have this feature, but I'm seeing a lot of guys ask this question. I wanna go through it. It's called the auto hide feature and it's for this bar right here. So what that means is after I touch it, after about a second, it will disappear. So I wanna show you how to set that up. You already have it, but let's go through it real quick. So what I wanna do is I wanna to come to my options. I wanna go into my settings. It's under preferences and you'll see the menu bar display. So right now it's set to show and I'm just gonna to touch it and it's gonna to go to auto. And I'm gonna come back, close out of here. And then once this loads, you're gonna see for a second here, it's here. And then when I don't touch it, this is going, oh, so it's fully loaded and this is gonna hide here in a second. Boom, it's hidden. There it is. So I've got my full screen. You'll see right down here, there's three little dots, three little lines. And the way I get this up is I literally just swipe off the page, swipe up there, and then I've got my features again. You see how quickly it hit. Guys, that's, that's really cool. It allows us to have our full screen and uh, still utilize our buttons. So again, before the update, you already have this, but I'm seeing a lot of guys wanting that. Just want to recover it there. Guys, thanks for watching. This is some of the new features. I'm really excited about these. Um, go back and look at the video we posted on Saturday as well. I know it's long, but guys, there was a lot to that. So there's gonna be more coming out, but I just wanna get you guys updated on some of these other features.